Welcome to Project 5. What we do in Project 5 is we use a new kind of comment. We create a title screen. We define a class, create an object, declare private variables of a class, declare public methods of a class, write and call methods, use for loops, create an input and output file stream, close and open an input file stream, and read information from a text file. So this is, a lot of this sounds pretty new, but it really isn't. They're just new um, curves on things we've done before. Now we can look at the flow chart for this program we're going to create. And you can see it's pretty straightforward. Certainly not as many twists and turns as the last program made. But you can see um, that we're going to be uh, writing a process that just has a single loop in it. So once again, in this particular lab, we're going to create a, pro a project from scratch. And we're going to do a new kind of comment. I think you're going to like this one. We're going to create a new console project. On the File menu, point to New. Then click Project. In the New Project dialog box, under File Types, click Win32. Under the Visual Studio's Installed Templates, click Window, Win32 Console Application. In the Name field, change the text to Quiz Show. Now click the Browse button. In the Project Location dialog box, click My Computer. Click Local Disk C. Click Profiles, click your username, click C++, then click OK. Click OK again to close the new project dialog box. Now C++ will create a quiz show folder for your project inside your C++ folder. In the Win32 application dialog box, click Next. Click Empty Project. Then click Finish. This will create your new project. Now you're going to create the new C++ file. So you right click on the Sources File folders, point to Add, then click New Item. Click the C++ file. Uh, in the Name field, change the text to Quiz Show. In the Location field, delete the extra Quiz Show. You only need one folder. Click Add. Visual C++ will create the CPP file and open it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a new kind of comment. Usually when we add comments to a file, we just do a double slash. But here you can see we can do large groups, a large portion of a, um, for a comment by just doing a slash star. This is what you want to do when your comments take up more than one line. And for our comment, you see we're going to be putting here the great quiz show game by you. And like they tell you in this comment here that um, if your code has an error, a lot of times you can just comment out the time of type of uh, where your error is and run the code without your error. So you can here you can see an example of the use of the comments. You have a comment in here. It's in green. You can see that's what the color for comments are. So if int total is equal to 50, Obviously, the rest of it doesn't get processed. Okay, your first line of the quiz show, uh, type slash star. Press enter a couple times and type the name of your quiz show program. We called ours a great quiz show game, but you can pick a different name. Uh, press enter twice, then type by. Press enter twice and type your name. Press enter twice and type star slash. 
Then use the mouse and the space bar and just center the um, center the stuff by eye. You're just using the spaces. That's all you need to do. Now we're ready to set up the project. So now we're going to, after our comment, we're just going to press enter a couple times. We're going to include our library, so we'll put our comment in there, include libraries. The two libraries we're going to put in there is our usual IO stream library and our string library. Remember the pound include. Two, li two lines under that, type the comment, use the standard namespace, and of course under that you're going to be type using standard uh, namespace standard. Now under that of course you're going to do your uh, void main uh, function. So after that type your curly brackets, your opening and closing curly brackets. One thing we do new with this project is we have a title screen. The only thing a title screen does is just introduces the pro user to a program. Sometimes there's a button to push or something like that. But it's basically just an introduction to your program. So now inside the main function's curly brace, uh, we're going to type the comment, show the title screen. Under that line, but before the ending curly bracket, we're going to type C out and we're going to uh, print out here a bunch of stars with our end line. It doesn't matter how many asterisks you type, you're going to change that later if you need to. Under that, type C out and then just give yourself a couple stars with some spaces in between it. Under that, you're going to type a C out command, and it's going to print an asterisk, then the name of your program, another asterisk. Here we have called it the Great Quiz Show. Okay, under that, we're going to type C out uh, with your star with your star with some spaces in between. Then we're going to uh, type our C out by with asterisks on either side. Under that line, we're going to type C out. Um, then you're going to print an asterisk, then your name, then another asterisk. And finally, we're going to have a do a uh, star space star, and then we're going to have our line of asterisks to close it out. Once again, it doesn't matter how many asterisks you type; it's just going to be pretty. So basically, the next thing you do is you just space out um, you space out everything just using your uh, space bar and your um, asterisks, whatever you need. So you just space it out like that. And you're just going to line up those asterisks so you get a nice pretty box. See how you line up those asterisks? Do it just by hitting your space bar. Then of course you're probably going to have to use some asterisks at the top and the bottom.
Then what we do is we add um, some C out commands the top and the bottom just give ourselves some space to set us separate it from the rest of the text. So now I'm going to debug my program. Just click my debug. Start debugging. And yes. So if it looks the way you want it, you can just continue on.